Hello and welcome to another episode of Weekly Deathmatch. We're back in Destiny 2. It's not technically a deathmatch, but you know how it is with Destiny 2. You can't queue for the specifics unless it's free-for-all. And last week was free-for-all, and that's why it was five minutes long. I didn't want this one to be five minutes long, so it's control. But there's a lot of death happening in it. You could call it a match which contains death. You could call it a deathmatch. You could call it me being lazy. You could call it whatever you like, frankly. I can't hear your thoughts. The first thing I would like to mention today is that it is fucking hot and you might not be able to hear me melting but I would just like to tell you that I'm melting all the same. The UK is experiencing a heat wave, uh, something we get about once a year around this time where it lasts for about a week and then it's rainy for the other 51 weeks in a year. Uh, you might remember when this happened last year as I believe I was recording an episode of Weekly Deathmatch, it was Rats Instagib where I was talking about how it was melting and how it was really hot and everything. And I'm just going to have to address this right now. For some reason, uh, this video I recorded lags a little bit. There are some lag spikes, as you just saw. I think mainly it's a problem near the beginning. At first, I thought it was my video editor, but I just paused to go and take a look, and it is the footage. And some other stuff I've been recording lately has been a little bit laggy as well. And it has been a Windows update, and that does tend to fuck things up, but maybe I just need to update my drivers and stuff, but either way, I'll look into that later. I just thought I should bring that up, because that's why this video looks the way it does. I think it's bearable, I don't think it's happening too often. I think some of what I'm seeing is just a video edge to preview, which has been known to be laggy in the past. If it is too bad, I apologise, I won't know until it renders and uploads. But yes, this is the first week uh, in a few weeks where a game that I've been looking forward to hasn't released, and I haven't played the crap out of it. Um, obviously, I'm still playing a lot of Crash Team Racing and Mario Maker 2. In fact, the Grand Prix update just came out for Crash Team Racing, so I've been playing a lot more of that. Uh, season 2 of Apex Legends just came out, so I've been playing some more of that as well, although I was already playing quite a lot of that. So yeah, I'm having fun with that. I also finally started playing Dusk, which is like this Doom-like, or I don't know if it'd be more uh, more fitting to say Quake-like shooter, um, where it's all themed around like, I don't know, it's like, it feels like Southern America, like evil lumberjack stuff, I don't really know how to, not South America, but like, you know what I mean, like, uh, Southern USA even. Uh, it feels like that kind of stuff, but it's all kind of mixed in with like, on the, some kind of like hexen voodoo bullshit it's really cool um i'm gonna play some more of that i think after i've rendered this video because it is awesome and that even has a multiplayer so i may do a weekly deathmatch in it if there are active servers the thing is i don't want to jump into multiplayer until i've played a decent amount of a campaign and i've found all the guns uh, because multiplayer is just going to have all the guns in it, and I don't want my first experience with a particular gun uh, to be in the multiplayer. I don't know, it's just a weird finicky thing I've had. I, I do the same thing with like Doom and stuff. If there's multiplayer, I won't try it until I've experienced all the guns in single player. But yeah, in the Steam sale, I got Dusk, and I got it in a pack with a Medieval, which is made by the... or well, not the same people, but it's published by the same people anyway. And it's got uh, the same guy doing a soundtrack for it, Andrew Holschult, who... Oh my god, he does good good metal he does good metal um so yeah i picked that up as well i know hardly anything about a medieval whereas dusk has been on my radar ever since it was announced uh since before it came out mostly because of the soundtrack um i'm really glad i enjoyed the gameplay because i'm not gonna lie i may have bought it for the soundtrack <laughs> i mean i didn't buy the soundtrack edition like i can listen to that on spotify but like i i kind of just want to support like the guy who made the soundtrack but the game is luckily very good and I'm looking forward to playing a medieval afterwards because that looks like it's got a different tone to it but it's still the same kind of genre and if there's anything I've learned over the last years boy do I love I just call those dumb fun run and guns that's the steam category I put it under so like that doom serious Sam like those kind of games where you just run around and kill loads of enemies with lots of different weapons and you get health power-ups and stuff you know what I mean it's a genre of game it's probably got a proper name but that's what I call them dumb fun run and guns I think I'd like to get into streaming some of them actually, like I know I've tried like finding a streaming niche many times, like I thought I was going to be the World of Warcraft streamer and then I predictably fell off of playing World of Warcraft in that time uh, and then I wanted to be like a roguelike streamer and I just kind of stopped um, because I fucking love roguelikes but I can't get into them as a game I go back to every day, um, but yeah. So I'm not just going to become like a fucking guy who streams like Doom and Serious Sam and everything. I've just recently kind of decided to stream whatever the hell I want to stream whenever the hell I want to stream it. That's not going to gain a following, but let's be honest, if I was doing this for a following, I've already failed, uh, like, long ago. I do this because I like it, so I should just stick to doing what I like. And if I pick up people along the way, fantastic. So I'm trying to apply that to streaming again, which is why I've been streaming some Apex Legends as well, like, talk about a crowded streaming market. Um, 
people are like oh apex isn't isn't you know as high as highly watched as fortnite so it's a dying game it's like it's still got quite a big fucking audience though isn't it <laughs> people are more likely to stream that than like any of the other games i stream but yeah uh, getting i got away from what i said a bit there i would like to try and stream some of those games i've tried to make like serious sam content on this channel before i think i might stream serious sam before um but like if I stop trying to dedicate myself like, oh, I've got to finish a game when I start streaming it, then I should be able to be more enthusiastic about streaming because, like, if I go, I've got to finish Serious Sam before I stream anything else, all that happens is I fall out of playing Serious Sam, I fall out of streaming. So, you know, maybe I should just put a disclaimer at the start of the VODs, like, hey, if you're here to watch a series of someone playing all the way through this game, it's that's not what this is. This is me playing as much of a game as I want to play before I move on to something else. You know what? Yeah, maybe that's what I need to do for streaming. But speaking of upcoming content, I have a different kind of edited video coming up. So my edited videos, aside from the weekly deathmatch, are of a certain variety. Uh, I have no shame for killing that guy, by the way. They're of a certain variety. There are always different video game clips, like DVR game clips, stuck together. And it is more work than I make it sound like, because like I, I'm very like brutal about which clips I throw away because they aren't quite interesting enough or funny enough, and then I have to like cut them down and like the amount of time it takes to remove just like a split second of dead air between clips you'd be surprised at how much it helps the video flow like quite a lot of work goes into those videos if i'm being honest and I'm, i've got a bit faster at making them nowadays because i'm just used to making that style of video but either way that is a style of video that i'm used to making i'm not used to making a style of video where i talk about a thing like putting together a like a top 10 list because i'll be honest that's what the upcoming video is people say it's lazy content but it's not uh, or at least not on my level of making content anyway because when you put together a top 10 video you need to when you talk about stuff that's fine but then you need to go out and film b-roll for it and like that's I mean it's not like the hardest thing in the world but I've never done it before so I'm not used to the fact that I'm having to go in game to all of these places and try and find like an appropriate thing to film and make sure the filming comes out right I film the right amount of time it fits with what I'm saying um, I've got a variety of different things from the certain places I'm going to that kind of thing it's very different, so it's taking me a few days to make, and it might come out today. It might not come out for a few days because I've got some, I've got lots of work to do over the next few days. But uh, I hope when it does come out, people like it because it is something I'll, be, I'll have put a little bit more effort into compared to shenanigans videos and stuff like that. But if not, you know, that's fine. Uh, I just might not make those videos very often or ever again. Um, I don't really have any ideas for any more of those types of videos, but I could probably brainstorm some if it actually went down well. So, yeah, I look forward to that when it releases, whenever the hell it releases. You know, I actually broke even in this game. You're seeing me shooting a lot of people and dying a lot. But when it comes to kill-death ratio, I actually got 0 0.94. Uh, or I guess it's called efficiency in this game. I don't think it means final blows, because surely I didn't kill as many people as I died to. Because this game wasn't great, was it? I mean, look at it. <laughs> Um, to be fair, I haven't been playing much Destiny 2 lately, um, or much Crucible, I guess. I haven't been playing much of it lately. I haven't really been playing much of any online shooter lately, if I'm honest. Like, I've played lots of Crash Team Racing and Super Mario Maker, which are not shooters. Um, and, I mean, I've been playing Dusk, but that's a very different kind of shooter. Um, and what else have I been playing? Crackdown 3, which is technically a shooter, but it's not really for aiming. You don't have to aim in that game. Uh, there's lock-on sights and stuff. And I've been playing playing what else have i been playing what else oh apex legends that is an online shooter ignore me i just suck then but you know what i mean every online shooter has its own flavor it has its own things like if i were to jump into a game of overwatch right now which i haven't played in about a month or a half uh i would die quite a lot and i'm just getting to a point in apex legends right now as well where i'm not awful uh, there are some live streams that document me being awful uh, but the last one I uploaded, which is just called Actual Decent Games, it was still in Season 1, I haven't done a Season 2 stream yet, that was Actual Decent Games. I didn't fuck up too much. And I had a game, when I wasn't streaming the other day, when I just kept hitting sniper headshots and immediately killing people. Um, because I guess, like, they were the last in their team. Like, it wasn't downing, it was immediately killing people. But, like, on the first shot, and I was like, this isn't me, how am I doing this? Um, but yeah, so, that was fun. Oh, that's the other game I was going to say I was going to play, World of Warcraft. I've been playing lots of World of Warcraft lately. The latest patch came out, and it's pretty damn great. I don't know if I've already talked about it on a weekly deathmatch, uh, but it's 
it's weird, it's a mix of world quests, which is the system we've had for the last few years, and daily quests, which is a system they got rid of because people didn't like it, but mixing the two together seems to work quite well, so, you know, it's exciting for the future of World of Warcraft and seeing what's going to happen with the game design going forward, and classic releases at the end of next month, and holy shit, I need to stream some WoW, uh, just so I can make sure that all my settings are correct, because I want to stream my first moments in classic, because even though nobody's going to hear me go on about, like, what this used to be like, like how I played back in BC. I never played Classic, but how I used to play back in Burning Crusade when I was a kid and finding the stuff I'd already forgot about and then seeing how different it is to the main game. It's going to be awesome for me and I want to look back on it. Like if I play Classic for years, I want to be able to look back and go, look, this was when I first played Classic. Back when it was fresh and new. I remember when Old School RuneScape released and it was fresh and new and oh no, the video is ending. It was cool and now it's a bit...